Woo, 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 woo. Working out in the morning feels good. Ooh, you just sweating those toxins all out of your body. But anyway, what I wanted to address this morning was why I'm so transparent. Because people are always in my inbox. They always call at me. They always talking about, why you tell it all? Why you always just, why you didn't leave that out? They going to read that. Yes. So this is the thing. You can't learn if I'm faking and shaking. You can't. You can't learn from my story if I'm not being transparent, if I'm leaving half of it out, if I'm not letting you know that no matter how strong you are, no matter how beautiful you are, no matter how good you think you can make yourself feel in the morning, you are still susceptible to people that can hurt you, people can abuse you, people can take advantage of you, all that. And I need people to know the times when this has happened to me so that they can understand how I navigated through it, the, the, how, I, how long I let myself sit in the pain, how long I allowed people, um, my daughter calls them energy vampires, energy vampires in my life. As a matter of fact, I had to get rid of a customer yesterday. It was a thousand dollar customer. And she, her attitude was horrible, atrocious. And I said, oh no, boo, I won't be up in here with you. Uh, no. So I was like, let me give you back your deposit because I can't do it. My spirit went, whoo. My spirit was like, mm -mm. you don't need the money. You don't need the money. Can't have that. Lit my sage, said my prayer, set my intention for my day and called her and said, who baby? Who I just uh, cash after you, your $200 deposit back. We ain't going to be able to do this. <laughs> but I love being transparent. You know, so many people are not authentic and that's their business. That's their business. I'm learning. It ain't your business to call them out. It ain't your business to say, uh, no, you lied. Oh, no, that ain't even true. You didn't even do that. You ain't never even been in a war. You telling war stories. You ain't. <laughs> Ooh, it's not our business. So let that go too. However, that's ego. That's ego that makes us want to call people out and say, no, excuse me. Uh, no, you don't have a degree. No, you don't, uh, you know, didn't do this. No, you're lying. Knock it off between them and God. Let them be who they want to be until they learn how to tap into themselves and be authentically themselves, right? Work on you because all of us have a part of us that we'd like to keep secret. All of us have a part of us that, you know, we like, damn, if I tell that part, people going to think this about me. If I tell that part, if I let people know, which I'm telling y'all right now, which I tell y'all all the time, I used to have anger problem. Little black girl from cop. You, I'd be like, what? What? Excuse us. Uh, uh, what? Excuse me? Ma'am, what you say? Oh, excuse me, let me see you outside. Let me see you outside. Yeah, that was me. I was mad. Took, I was taking on everything that I hadn't dealt with, didn't know how to deal with yet, hadn't dug into me, didn't know how to even attempt to attack the past trauma in my life. So I was taking on on people. You know, people remember back in the day when I used to put those braids by Sabrina signs all up. I'm still sweating, y'all. Sorry. Woo! Morning workouts. My, my Just Breathe Baby Gym is in the making now. Woo! But yeah, I used to, you know, deal with people with an iron fist. I, you know, I used to like, I'm a Leo. That's the way it is. It's my way or the highway. You're going to do what I say. Mm, knock it off. I learned, you know, you can still be authoritative as a boss because you have to be. You can still be authoritative, but you can, um, you know, soften it a little bit. You know, you can you can be kinder, you can be nicer and still get your point across and still say, uh, excuse me, but you're supposed to be a working nine, ma'am. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> so I'm authentic. I can't help it. I tell it all. You know, y'all don't have to call me no more. Be like, why? Why did you say that? But why don't you keep some of that to yourself? Why? Because how are you going to learn from my mess? If I how is how? How? If I'm like dibbling dabbling in what i'm gonna say no i need you to know from whence i came i need you to know i need you to understand the many many times i contemplated suicide i need you to understand how i navigated through depression i need you to understand loving the wrong man and why you do and how that's tied to past trauma and how that's tied to self-worth issues i need you to understand how all that happens, how you could be walking in and yo, fine, Ross dress for less suit, looking good, speaking to people on stages, but you can still um, be hurt, hurt, mm, 
on the inside because of some holes that you still haven't closed yet, some things that you still haven't healed from. So that's why I'm transparent. I'm never going to stop. And it's easy. You know, never got to backtrack, think about what you said, what you didn't say, what part you left out, lay it all out, leave it here. So when I'm dead and gone, people can still um, learn and heal and, and have hope. That's why I write my books. So some little black girl can have hope. Somebody can say, oh, my God. Oh, my God, I was abandoned, too. Oh, my God, I've been in a um, bad relationship, too. Oh, my God, I, I you know, th this is this is how I did it. This is how you did it. So now I know I can do it, you know? So anyway, so you shouldn't get dressed when you're still just coming down from your workout because I'm still sweating like crazy. Anyway, it feels great. I feel great today. I hope you guys feel great today. And I just want to dip in real quick and say, be authentically you. Be yourself. Don't try to hold back. Don't try to fake the funk. Be who you are. You are a work in progress. We all are. God loves us all. You know, and the story that you try to keep from other people can help somebody else. I love you guys. It's Sabrina Fisheries, America's number one transformational mindset coach. I love you.